Welcome back, trainers. Today, we're going to be talking about Kyogre and the awesome things that it can do for your party in battles. So let's go ahead and jump right into the stats and take a look what we got here. Okay, starting off, we're going to have defense 90, special defense 140. So that special defense is very, very high. That is a great number for you to have, and it can definitely eat some damage without you know, running into very big obstacles or dying in one hit from a special defensive standpoint. Be careful on the defensive side. It's not a super low stat. 90 is still pretty decent, but it isn't exactly crazy high like your special defense. However, if you look at the HP stat, that is going to be 100. So this Pokemon has a generically good uh, bulk stat for all three, and it's going to make it super spongy. So you can actually take a lot of damage while dealing out massive punishment. So the speed is going to be 90 again that kind of like upper middle ground there not too bad at all and definitely something we can work with with like a choice scarf but when you look at its attack stats it's got attack 100 and then special attack 150 so that is going to be an insane amount of damage that you are able to put out with this kyogre especially with some of the builds we're going to get into in a little bit so crazy special attack and then good good bulk for this pokemon here so in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, the ability that Kyogre is going to have is going to be Drizzle. And what Drizzle is going to do is it's going to go ahead and set the rain for you. So as soon as this Pokemon hits the battle, it's going to start raining on the field. And this does a couple different things. It's going to increase the amount of damage that water type moves do by 50%. It's going to decrease the amount of damage that fire type moves do by 50%. But it's also going to make, and this is important, it's also going to make two moves ignore their accuracy checks so both thunder and hurricane are going to just bypass their accuracy checks to hit no matter what unless they have a double team or something like that that's going to you know change the accuracy a little bit but at 70 percent that both of uh hurricane and thunder are normally uh the accuracy checks for it's just going to hit so you don't have to worry about it anymore which is a great thing because both of those moves do crazy amounts of damage and hurricane has its other bonuses too so this is a great pairing for a, uh, a wind team or a great pairing for a rain team something that you can definitely definitely utilize very often very well okay so let's go ahead and move over to resistances and it is going to resist steel fire water and ice typings all at 50 percent so 50 percent reduction in those damage now that being said, keep in mind, you uh, probably have your rain going on the field from Drizzle. So water will also get a 50% boost in damage to the Kyogre. But with your bulk, I mean, it's still not doing a crazy amount of damage anyways. So it just kind of negates the resistance a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, steel, fire, water, and ice are the resistances by 50%. Okay, so that being said, let's look at the weaknesses. And Kyogre only has two weaknesses. Grass and Electric, it is going to be two times effective against Kyogre, so just be careful with the Grass and Electric type Pokemon. However, Kyogre does have that ratio, for those of you that have seen the videos before, that uh, it's got twice the amount of resistances that it does the weaknesses, and that's my preferred state or better for the Pokemon that I put in my party, so Kyogre definitely, definitely hits those check marks for me here. But just keep in mind, Grass type and Electric types definitely going to be a weakness for you, uh, so just make sure you're not pairing it unevenly with things across the field. Hey guys, if you're liking this video or it's helping you at all, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. It definitely helps the channel out. Also, feel free to come by the Twitch channel where we do mostly Pokemon Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Lots of raids, shiny hunting, battles, you name it. But let's go ahead and get back to the rest of the video. Okay guys, so if this video is helping you out, please drop a like and subscribe. Definitely helps the channel out and I totally appreciate it. So please go ahead and drop that. It is totally free for you. Otherwise, let's go ahead and take a look at these movesets. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these movesets. The first one here is going to be the, the moveset that I use the most. And this is going to be a special attack moveset. It's going to be a full offensive moveset. And uh, we're going to put 252... Uh, EVs into special attack 252 into speed the other four you could throw into whatever you want I I like HP here because it's a huge stat for it so four into HP but as far as the move set is concerned we are going to use water spout here it's going to hit everything on the opposite side of the field so if you're using uh, this for doubles you're going to hit both things on the other side of the field which is great especially because you've got your drizzle active it's a stab bonus move and the natural special attack for this Pokemon is so high that with the special attack, we're, uh, EVs were doing stupid amounts of damage. So this is going to do a massive, massive, detrimental amount of damage to the opposing team for your Pokemon. 
What we're also going to complement this with is going to be Surf. Now that is because as you take damage, Water Spout's damage actually decreases. So it does the most damage which you're, when you're at 100% HP. But as you get lower and lower, it's going to do less and less damage. So Surf is going to be able to counter that so that as you take damage, you'll still be able to do a maximum amount of damage out versus kind of reducing your threat. And then we're going to have Ice Beam and that's going to be coverage for us and thunder now thunder is great because of that drizzle ability so with the drizzle ability it's going to make that accuracy check on thunder go away and it's going to hit no matter what and thunder with the special attack of this pokemon is going to do ridiculous amounts of damage so you definitely want to have thunder on this moveset for a full offensive moveset you definitely want to have that on there because it is a game changer so definitely have that on all right so moving down into the ability item in nature We've got Drizzle, of course, and that's again going to set the rain for you, increase your water damage by 50%, and so on and so forth. And we are going to use the Timid Nature here, which is going to boost our speed. So that is going to be the speed boost. Now, you could do Modest here. Modest would raise that special attack value for you, but I prefer to have Timid. It's going to give us a little bit of boost to our kind of middle ground uh, speed stat here and give us a little bit more of an edge, especially if we combo this with the Choice Scarf. Now, I generally am running this specific set with the Choice Scarf. You can use the Choice Specs as well. And the Choice Specs are going to obviously boost your special attack damage out. However, this Choice, Sar uh, a choice Scarf is going to make us super fast. So we're able to really kind of go in there, outspeed almost anything that it's out on the field, and really just cause detrimental damage to the opposition. And this really makes Kyogre almost broken. It's not broken, but it's 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 right there, kind of on that edge, where it does ridiculous damage. It's super fast. And if you're in doubles with Water Spout, it's going to do just insane damage. It, I mean, you could see in the video that I'm basically one-shotting this entire team of six with a team of four, but only with the Kyogre. So the Kyogre's out on the field, and it's one-shotting this team. It does crazy damage, guys. Now again, this is the moveset that I use quite often, more common than not actually, is this moveset here with the special attack, the speed, the choice scarf, and this moveset here. And there's a couple other things you could supplement in or out, but this is pretty much the moveset that I use for my offensive Kyogres. Okay, now this next set is going to be a bulk set, guys. And while I say bulk, we're actually going to mix Calm Mind in the mix here, so it's actually going to give us a little bit of an offensive advantage as well while still boosting our bulk on the back end. So what we're going to do for our uh, EVs here is we're going to do 252 into HP. It's a great stat for it with that 100, so we're going to bulk that up as much as we can with 252. And then we're going to split the remaining EVs between defense and special defense. 120 into physical defense, 136 into special defense, and this is going to make us super tanky when it comes to any damage coming in from a special attack like energy ball but we're also going to have that defense for physical attacks as well so moving over to the move set what we're looking at here is going to be sleep talk or thunder surf rest or aqua ring and calm mind now the reason we've got a choice here is because it's a bit of a play style choice and i'm going to go into that after i go into the ability item in nature so with the ability item in nature we're looking at drizzle either bold which is going to be your physical defense boost or calm which is going to be your special defense boost leftovers lumberry or chesto berry now leftovers is going to give you a little bit of 1 16th of hp back every turn lumberry is going to cure any status effect that hits you and if you don't have the lumberry use a chesto berry which cures your sleep okay now that we've gone over the overview let's go ahead and get into the real detail of this moveset because there is a lot you can do with this moveset, and it really depends on how you want to build this Pokemon for your playstyle. So we've got all these different things, all these contributors, the items, the moves, and all. So rest is really nice because obviously this is going to fully cure you from whatever HP you're at all the way up, but you're going to be asleep for the two turns, right? So you're going to want to wake up. Now, if you're going to use rest but not sleep talk, then you definitely 100% want to use a Lumberry on this Pokemon because the first time you use rest, that Lumberry is going to activate and then you're awake right away. Okay, so now keep in mind, once you use that berry, it is gone. You cannot consume it again. It's already been consumed. It is in the netherworld and cannot come back. So if you're not a fan of using your item the one and done, then maybe you want to go the leftovers route. 
And if you go the leftovers route, then what I would suggest is maybe using Sleep Talk. So Sleep Talk is great because when you're asleep, it's going to allow you to use Sleep Talk and then it's going to proc one of the other skills for you, Surf, Rest, or Calm Mind. And that's going to allow you to either do damage, give yourself a special attack, special defense boost with Calm Mind, or use Rest, which wouldn't do anything for you anyways. So it's going to give you a chance to actually bonus off of fully healing yourself when you're in whatever dire straits you're already in. So essentially, you're getting back into the game without almost any repercussion. Now, there's a little bit because you could use the rest, and that's not going to do anything. It's just going to fail because you're already asleep. But you could use the other things, which are more likely. The, the percentages are in your favor here, and that could definitely give you a huge bonus for this battle, whether it's doing damage out, even if it's just chip damage, doing damage out, or getting those damage and defense boosts with the Calm Mind. Now, there's going to be a third option here, and that's going to be the Aqua Ring. If you don't want to use Rest, if you don't want to have to waste a spot on Sleep Talk, then what you could do is use the Leftovers and put Aqua Ring on. And Aqua Ring is going to... Basically, it's going to work like Leftovers. It's going to heal 1 16th of your HP every turn. So with the two, the Leftovers and the Aqua Ring, if essentially you're healing 2 16th, which is double the Leftover amount. So if you're doing that, then definitely put Thunder on there instead of the Sleep Talk, Surf, and Calm Mind. Now you've got your special and defense attack um, and, and boost up ready to go. And you've got your crazy damage with Thunder, your stab bonus with Surf, and you are just going to be a monster powerhouse and be able to stay in the game and survive a lot longer than if you weren't otherwise. So that is a possibility for you as well. Okay, so at the end of the day, there's a couple different ways you can play Kyogre, but either one is going to either lead back to the full offensive side or the bulk with Calm Mind side. That's kind of the best two ways to play the Kyogre, and almost no matter what you do, yeah, you could get tricky, kind of change it up a little bit, but either way, regardless, Kyogre's amazing, guys. It, it is a super good Pokemon, especially with that Drizzle technique. If you add this into any Rain team, and it's going to absolutely make the difference. It is going to be the game changer for you in those teams. And even without those teams, it's going to make you so far ahead of the competition. It's just such a good Pokemon. But guys, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please drop that like and subscribe. Totally helps us out. And I do look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. But until then, take care. And if you do celebrate the holidays, the Christmas holiday, then Merry Christmas to you. Otherwise, have a Happy New Year. And I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one.